So everything works now. This is what it looks like. Now we're going to go ahead and tape these in place. You just take your, your foil tape. Now that that works, we're going to go ahead and just tape these in place. It's really simple. You just want to cut some strips of your foil tape. The foil tape has a backing. You just take the backing off. And then you just want to go ahead and tape them down where they need to go. It's pretty straightforward, so I'm just going to go ahead and tape all of these down and I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. So I've gone ahead, taped them down, now we're ready to go. So what we need to do now is take our one of our narrow one of our narrow side panels. This is one of the uh, smaller ones, the ones that are only 18 inches wide and you want to place this on top. Now I want to go and take a look and see where this wire is. So what I'm going to do is just kind of eyeball it and I'm going to cut a square 
for the wire to exit. And then exactly, exact placement of this is not super important because it's going to be uh, covered with tape. And you've got another layer of insulation, so you don't have to worry about heat escaping through this. So once you've run your wire through here, you just want to go ahead and place this you want to go ahead and place this in the middle as much as you can. You cut these extras away on the side so you know it's not going to be a big deal. You just want to get this as centered as possible. And then we're going to go ahead and take this down. Take down one inch. Because of the wire under here, this isn't going to sit completely flush, and that's okay. Once we get all of our tape on here, it's going to hold this pretty securely. At least I haven't had any problems so far. Because once you get this down, it's actually going to be the tape on the edges that are sort of holding this whole floating light fixture on there. But I do this this way because if you ever have any problems with the wiring, just go ahead, cut this, take it off, figure out what's wrong, and then you can put it back and just tape it back down as opposed to uh, something more permanent. This is taped on. I can lift up the board, and here are our light fixtures. Here's our light fixture. We have our wire coming out the back, and then this we're going to run and actually run it through our switch. And from there, we'll have our electric done. But I'm going to wire the switch after I've built the rest of the box. So right now what I like to do is go ahead and just tape this whole thing. You want to put a little bit of overlap, it doesn't have to be too much, and you want to tape up this whole surface. You can leave about, I'd say, uh, three quarters of an inch on the edges untaped, because when we put all this together we're going to have to uh, close up all the seams. So that's just one way to conserve a little bit of tape. So I'm going to go ahead, tape this up. 
and then we're going to move on to the next step. Alright, so I've got this completely taped and this is all ready to go. So I'm going to put this on the side because we're done with that for now. You want to take one of your other panels and you want to go ahead and seal this thing up. So what we're going to do is instead of just taping it, now taping it is always an option. You could just tape this whole thing. But to save on tape, you can take some aluminum foil. So you just want to go ahead and cover up the center portion. So I like to do that in two strips. Like this. And then you just tape up around it. And we're going to be doing this to each one of our panels. Make sure that the shinier side is up. Then just go ahead and tape it. And if there are ever any spots where there's a hole or something, you can just cover it over with a little bit of the foil tape. Alright, so now this panel is done. It's all insulated. So now we're going to go ahead and just do the rest of them. So I'm going to do the other two panels, just like this, and then we're going to put our box together. So, here we go.